Welcome, I am Peace Trader, and today I'm going to show you how to set up options trading hotkeys and how to use the hotkeys for options trading. All right, the first thing we're going to do is set up and create the hotkey. So go to add widgets, click on trade, click Turbo Trader, click the top right corner, click Turbo Trader settings, scroll down all the way to place orders for options. And before I continue, I'm just going to uncheck everything else, start fresh. So to create a hotkey, you click on one of these. I'm going to create one for buy market and mine is already binded. So I'm going to delete this. So what you would do is click shift a or anything that you wanted to bind it to. And you can use control shift alt or a letter or a number. I'm going to use shift a that's my example and I'm going to check it so I can see it in the turbo trader and then I'm going to create one for sell the market. And I'm going to do shift S and I'm going to check it and you should see it in the turbo trader and I'm going to scroll down and you can create a cancel for the options. So either you do all single options for the current symbol or you do all single options. I like to do this one and I'm going to use shift Q for cancel. And if you want to create your own hotkey, you go to available buttons, click the plus sign. And then you can name it whatever you want and then you would change it to options and then you either if you do a sell or buy i'm going to do buy for an example and you have all these options to change it you can do oco order which places a stop or you can just do single you can also do stop loss order take profit order so i'm gonna do an example i'm gonna do a limit i'm gonna do mid or let's let's do bid you can change the contract i'm gonna do one and limit offset I'm gonna do five cents above the bid or you can change it to whatever you want this is an example stop loss take profit hotkey shift H and then I'll check it so I can see it in my turbo trader click done okay now that we're done creating our hotkeys let's test it out I'm gonna go to add widgets I'm gonna go to quotes I'm gonna click options this is the options chain I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna put this guy down there. I'm gonna extend this a little bit. All right, let's test it out. It is a Saturday, but we can still test it out. So I'm gonna click a 564 strike call. I'm gonna click anything that's not the bid and ax. Click my hotkey shift and this pops up. When this pops up, you know the hotkey is ready to use. You can minimize it if you don't wanna look at it. But when this pops up, it's ready to use. And the reason I said to click anything that's not the bid and ax is because if I click the bid and ax, this guy shows up. The order entry shows up and the hotkey will not change if you click the bid and ax. Okay, example, I'm gonna click a 565 put option. I'm gonna click the bid and ax, click my hotkey, and look at that. It's still a call option. It's still a 564 call option. Now I'm gonna click anything that's not the bid and ax click my hotkey and now it changes to a put. So let me do another example. I'm gonna click anything that's not the bid and ax, a call option, 565 call option, clicking it, anything that's not the bid and ax, click my hotkey and as you guys can see, it changes. But if you click, again, another example, a 567, like anything that's not the bid and ax, 567 put, click my hotkey, it does not change. It's only for the order entry. So this is a very, very important. You have to click anything that's not the bid and ax and then your hotkey. It will change 564. It changes. So anything that's not the bid and ax. And also, let me just show you guys the Turbo Trader. If you want to use Turbo Trader, you just put it in the same group, group one, and the option change group one again. Anything that's not the bid and ax. So clicking anything that's not the bid and ax. 565. Look at that. 565 call option. If I click the bid and ax, I'm going to click a put. It doesn't change. It's only for the order entry. If I click anything that's not the bid and ax, now it changes to a put option. As you guys can see, put option. Anything that's not the bid and ax changes to a call option. So it's very important that you click anything that's not the bid and ax for your order entry. I mean, not the order entry, but for your turbo trader and for your hotkey. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer it if I understand it. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'm at eight subscribers and I'm also trading options with $100. Can I grow it? Follow my journey and I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go.